Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show you how to extract a HMI program from a Redline HMI that has uh, connected via the Ethernet or the Internet as well. So uh, the first thing you want to make sure if you're the guy who wrote the original program is to make sure that uh, on the link pull down menu make sure that you've got checked the support upload the last time that you had downloaded the program to it that will allow it to be an uploadable image so make sure support uploaded is checked the last time you download via a USB connection and then the next thing you're going to do is uh, over in communications on the left hand side of Crimson go to the network tab here and if your HMI happens to be on the local network there uh, obviously Ethernet 1 would certainly be configured to have some address some IP address that's locally but if you go to the download tab right here you go to the download tab you'll need to have this enabled to be able to uh, both download to the HMI via the Ethernet and also be able sort of to extract the image as well so the link pull down support upload that turns on the extractable image and then you've got to have this here turned on to allow you to interact with the HMI uh, over the Ethernet connection uh, via the web or so forth. What I've got here in this example is I've got an HMI here that happens to be at our office at this IP address up here and if I click on remote view I can see what's going on at the screen there and so forth and I can actually interact with that particular screen and navigate and so forth. Well if I'd like to get a copy of this particular program locally so that I can see what's happening there. If I write down this number IP address on a piece of paper which is 108.244.124.62 and if I go back to my raw crimson database that I'm running right here nothing special on the download tab for the network down here where it says auto ethernet 1 instead of it being that setting which by the way means it's grabbing the IP address over here which is nice if you're in a plant environment and you got a bunch of these on the plant floor but in this case the one that's uh, actually on the web is at the office so if I put in here the address of manual and instead of this here number I'll put in 108.244.124.62 don't forget the enter key anytime you type with our software always remember to hit the enter key when you're done so there's the IP address of that unit there and if I want to extract that program from my office HMI all I need to do is go down go to the top go to the link pull down menu and choose extract it's gonna ask you do you want to save the changes and what it's doing it wants to save anything in here well I just use this for a setup configuration I'm gonna say no for this instance and then it's gonna go on the web and actually extract that program as you see right now from my office and when this gets done it should ask me to save the file give it a few seconds here to see what it shows up and if I just say test here I'll call it test and now it has saved that program and if you go to for instance display pages you can actually see these are the pages that are running on that particular screen so that's a quick example showing you how you can extract a program via the Ethernet or over the internet if you have the IP address uh, one thing I also point out to you if you're gonna do this um, actually I forgot one thing you should go down to the options here and make sure that instead of using USB you're using the TCP connection TCP IP and also if you're gonna go over a cell modem connection you might want to check the slow link so that it doesn't time out so you might check that to make sure it's a slow link and uh, it'll give you more time to extract the image that's a quick demo on how to extract a redline program via an Ethernet connection one other caveat anytime you're downloading over Ethernet uh, with the G3 series you should have a compact flash card in them or with the graphite series you should have an SD memory card for it to cache memory while it upgrades or downgrades firmware via the software. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.